Hello! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited! Okay, you guys have to let me know if you can see us. This is the baby. This is Charlotte. <laughs> say hi. Say hello. Yeah, I say it's cold outside. Oh, you're going to frown? Hello. Can you guys see okay? I'm not getting any notifications. Let's see. How are you guys on today? Huh? How are you guys? You cold? I'm freezing. It's freezing here in Texas. Can you believe it? Well, it's not freezing. It's 44, but that's freezing. Okay? Freezing. Say hello. Say hello, my love. Okay. Yay, y'all can see me. Hi. Hi, everybody. We're going to wait. You guys get to see baby Charlotte for a little while until we get started. Say hello. Say hi. Oh, it's cold there too, Leslie? Oh my gosh. Well, so if you know me, I'm a little obsessed with Christmas. I even changed what's above my bed for Christmas. And I've been listening to Christmas stuff all day. And my housekeeper comes in this morning and she goes, it could snow today. I, I mean, y'all, if it snowed, I may just pass out. It's amazing. You saw snowflakes earlier? Where are you, Michelle? Oh, I, I looked at the weather and it says that it's supposed to get below freezing um, at like one in the morning. So if, if, if God and all the heavens align, it's supposed to, it's supposed to rain at the same time. So it actually snows, right? Man, I would, I would love it. Okay, so we're going to get started. This is little baby Charlotte. She's going to hang out with me for a little while too. Thank you so much, Anne. Okay, so today we're going to chat about icebergs, right? Kind of fitting because it's supposed to be freezing here in Texas. Random, right? We're going to talk about icebergs today. And here is my giveaway. Okay, so do you like my cute little my little hat here, CC Beanie. They come in literally every color imaginable and they are amazing and they're so warm and they're so versatile. My husband tries to steal mine all the time. I'm going to give away three, three beanies. Okay. And here is how you are going to win. It's going to be a random drawing, but you got to comment. Okay. I'm going to be talking about three things in regards to icebergs today. I want you guys to comment those three things that I um, talk about. And not just that, I want you guys to tell me something that you're gonna do differently in your business based on the three things that I talk about today, okay? So I want you guys to really think about this and commit to it. Now, if you know me or if you're on my team or if you're my friend or, or if you know me, you know that I tend to um, kind of get a little preachy. I do a little bit of tough love here and there. Um, I love me some rainbows and unicorns, but I also love the nitty gritty. And I love to be real with you and kind of get in your face and shake you by the shoulders and go, let's go, let's go. So today I'm going to be spitting some truth with you. And I might make you a little uncomfortable and I might go, oh man, she's right, but that's what I'm here to do. Um, what good would it be if I just sat here and gave you all the rainbows and sun sunshines and unicorns if I didn't actually talk to you, right? So today we're talking about icebergs. Okay, so we know that icebergs are massive, okay? And 90% um, of course, I get a phone call right when I start, right? It has to happen. 90% of icebergs are beneath the surface. You can't see them. You can't see them. That's what sunk the Titanic, right? It was underneath there. It was so big, they didn't see it, okay? And then the tip of it, just 10%, is what you see. This business is a lot like an iceberg, Okay, we get to see, hey, Brandy, hey, Hannah, hey, Ellie, um, we get to see 10% um, of everybody else's business, right? When you're looking right and you're looking left and you're looking above and you're looking down, you get to see 10% of the business, right? You get to see their accolades and their, um, the, the fun that they're having and the, the prizes that they earn and the ranks that they get and the pay that they're earning and all that jazz, right? You get to see the 10%. What you don't get to see is the 90% below. 
and you may have heard this before, um, but uh, this analogy before, but we're going to dive into it a little bit deeper. You know, I was talking with my good friend, Emily Gibson. She and I were preparing for Super Saturday because we're going to be out in North Carolina. What's up? It's like my home away from home. I'm there all the time. I love it. Um, we're going to be out there for Super Saturday. And if you are not registered for Super Saturday, I'm going to reach this phone and shake your shoulders and go, why not? Why not? You need to get your, as Jill would say, your booty boo in those seats. You need to be there. The material is so, so good. But she and I were chatting last night, and we were just kind of reminiscing about our business journeys. And she's, she pretty much skyrocketed. She's right underneath Brooke Hemingway. She skyrocketed and is in mass momentum. And, oh, Sarah, I'm going to get to see you on Charlotte. Yay! Um, she's experiencing some mass momentum. And I, um, I have experienced mass momentum. And just to kind of give you a little bit of idea of what that mass momentum looked like for me, I went from being stuck at Emerald. Um, and then actually coming out to Charlotte, North Carolina, or was it Raleigh? I can't remember for some training, uh, some mindset training and I got unstuck. And three months later I went Sapphire diamond, David, my husband went diamond a month later. I reentered, um, which means you grow by 1500 points and, in, in um, or it was two months for me. And then I went fast start gold and then senior gold. And that was in a span of seven months that all of that happened. It was insane, right? And from the outside looking in, it um, it looked like it was just a breeze, right? Oh my God, what's what is she doing? What is she doing, right? Oh my God, her business is just flying, right? What you didn't see was the ninety percent of that iceberg, and that's what Emily and I were got, were talking about last night, y'all. A lot of us say we want the success. A lot of us say we want the tippy top. But are you willing to do what it takes to float that iceberg? Are you willing to actually work your booty boo off to have that type of momentum? It doesn't just happen, right? It does not just happen. It does not just, you don't just sign a lucky rock star. You don't just, you know, the heavens don't just line up and the clouds align and the stars align. None of that happens. It takes work. <laughs> work. It's hard work. Okay. And if you're here, that means that you are 10% committed to your business. And I, I mean, 10%. Yay. You're here. Okay. You're somewhat committed, right? But how much more committed are you? Right? If you're watching these videos, great. What are you doing with them? You're not working your business by watching these videos. <gasps> you're not, you're not just by being here. It is not working your business. It's not just by hanging out with the friends and, oh, I'm going to hang out with some diamonds on some live videos today. Oh, I'm going to scroll through Facebook. That's not working. When was the last time you sponsored somebody? When was the last time you, have a custom, you got a new customer? When was the last time you had a level one gift silver? When was the last time you had a level one go gold? Right? When was the last time that you went silver again? Y'all, that should be mandatory. If you were on this call, you need to be going silver every single month. That is a committed business owner, right? That's being committed. Going silver means assigning three ambassadors every single month. I'm approaching my four year this January. Can you believe it? Time flies. And I am just thinking, sorry, I got a, a text message about um, something and it, and it distracted me. Um, I am pr approaching four years. And I can't believe it. But let me tell you a little personal story about what happened with my mindset last month. And I'm going to be a little vulnerable and raw. But before I do that, I'm going to talk about the first thing out of the three things that we're going to talk about with the icebergs. So I'm going to look at some notes here. So three things that you need to have that 90% of the iceberg floating the success 10% of it, right? You need three things. Okay, I love that, Robin. You came to the library today to do IPA with no distractions, working my business. Love having you on my team, and I love that you're my best friend's mama. I love it. Um, three things that you need. Authenticity. Okay, now a lot of times people say authenticity. Okay, so that's just being real with yourself, right? That's, being, that's portraying yourself real. That's being real with those around you. True, but I'm going to break that down a little bit differently here. Um, does your desire or do your desires match your behavior? 
authenticity is not just you portraying yourself as the real version of yourself or you being, you know, um, authentic with yourself, but it's really taking a look at, at, at your, at yourself and going, am I being real with all aspects of my life? And then let's talk about that with plexus. So you're wanting to be diamond. Who doesn't, right? Maybe you're wanting to be gold or senior gold or ruby or emerald, right? And, but let's say that that's what you're wanting. That's your desire. Are your behaviors in line with that desire? Because if they're not, you're not being authentic with yourself. You're joking yourself, right? And it's all too often that I see friends on my team who I know have all this potential and they tell me, oh, Tara, I want this goal. This is my goal. It's December 1st and I want to do this. And they're amazing goals. And then it's like December 2nd happens and they're gone. And it's like, what happened to your goal? What happened to your desire? Right? What happened there? They're not being authentic with themselves. And guess who that's hurting? Them, their family, their friends who are missing out on um, being told about plexus. Right? So I want you to really take a hard look at yourself and go, am I being authentic with myself? All right, so here's a little personal story about me. So I am a Di Diamond Senior Ruby Ambassador with Plexus. And um, I've been wanting Emerald, right? Who doesn't? But I also just had a new baby. Precious, right? And, you know, you need to take time with your family. Um, but I, I was like, okay, I'm getting ready to, to work back my business. I'm, I, I took my maternity leave. I'm ready to get, um, to get back in it. But I really wasn't working like I should. And it dawned on me, well, Tara, you can't just wish Emerald to happen. You got to get your booty boo in gear and work for it, right? Even diamonds can find themselves in these ruts of, oh, crud, I got to work. I got to run. So if you're just sitting here going, oh, I want to, I want these goals and I'm going to watch these videos. Um, but I, you know, and I'll work here and there. Do you think you're going to reach those goals? Nope. Nope. So I want you to be real with yourself and authentic with yourself. Okay. The second thing is called rule 76. Raise your hand if you've ever seen wedding crashers. Okay. Rule 76. What is rule 76? Rule 76 basically means no excuses play like a champion, okay? Play like a champion, right? No excuses. So let's say that your goal is you want to sponsor five people this month or maybe a combination. I've got, I'm, I'm doing this on my team to, um, this month. Hang on, let me readjust this baby. Um, five people bringing back a combination of white lines, inviting them back into the, the products of the business, helping them turn back on their subscriptions or enrolling new people. Okay. Um, that right there is a goal that I'm doing on my second leg, five people. Okay. So that sounds like it wouldn't be that hard, right? Okay. So as, we, as the month goes, and if you're not really focusing on hitting that goal, hang on, hang on, I'm going to set my phone down real quick. I'm going to put the baby on the booby. Uh, uh, you're not going to say anything. Don't worry about it. Hang on, two seconds. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Motherhood calls, right? Um, no excuses. So I was talking about if that's your goal, five people, then you better start working now. And guys, it's all here. It's all in your mindset, right? So if you start the month out and you're like, okay, I'm going to have five people, then y'all make it happen. Be so determined and so focused and so committed that there's nothing going to stop you, right? Five people should not be difficult for anybody that is committed to their business. I promise you, you can do it, but you have to have rule 76 floating on your forehead. No excuses. Not that, oh, well, the back office isn't working right. No, oh, well, it's the holidays and people don't have money. Oh, well, I'm busy making fruit cakes and wrapping presents. I don't have time. No. Oh, my team isn't working very hard. Oh, I don't know any more people. No. No, there is no excuse that is valid. There is zero excuses that are valid, right? I don't have a rock star underneath me. Well, be your own dang rock star, <laughs> right? Rule 76, you got to have it.
You got to have it. And that leads to number three, tenacity, grit, determination, persistence. You got to be tenacious, right? Be tenacious about your goals, about your dreams, about your desires, about your behaviors that better be in line with those desires, right? Be tenacious. The tippy top of icebergs do not float by themselves. 90% of those icebergs, that's the hard work. That's the sacrificing. That's the blood, sweat, and tears. That's sometimes when you're actually crying and you're going, I don't know how I'm going to do this, or someone you know, said something negative, that's the time where you pick yourself up, you dust yourself off, and you go, who cares what Sally Sam says, right? Who cares about whatever the naysayers are saying? You got to go. Be authentic with yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and go, okay, what are my goals? What would I really love to um, accomplish with Plexus? And how would it enhance my life? How would it enhance my kids' lives? How would it enhance my partner's life, right? This isn't just for you. This is for your family. This is for your friends. Be serious about those desires and dreams, friends. You're worth it. It breaks my heart when I see people with potential, and we've all got it, watch their dreams slide away because they're not willing to invest in themselves and their family. Why are you not working at 100%? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Why are you not? You know. You know. Take a moment and, and think about that. Why are you not working as hard as you know you could? Why are you not the rank that you know you should be and can be and deserve to be? What are you not doing that you know you should be doing? Right? Think about those things. Be authentic with yourself. Be authentic about your desires. Take your products. That's about that's being authentic. Right? Have your your life be in line with what you want. Rule 76. If I hear an excuse, y'all, I'm going to go, nope. A big old nope. I can't do my other hand because it's holding up my phone. But the big X. Nope. Right? An excuse might be real. Okay? Fear. You might fear, feel fear. But that's not a valid excuse. We all feel fear. So why is it that some of us are able to pass it and some of us are not? Be authentic with yourself. Play like a champion. Play like the champion that you are, friends. Right? Stop letting fear dictate your life. Stop letting fear determine your life. Right? When I started this business, I didn't even want to do the business. You want to know a secret? I actually thought network marketing was like really a disgusting industry. Like I kind of frowned upon it. I was like, oh God, she's in one of those companies. <sighs> that was me. That was my judgy, judgy self, right? And then I saw, oh, oh, this could really change lives. Oh, this could change my life, right? And so I decided to try, but I was scared. I was scared and I wasn't sure what, what I was going to do or how I was going to do it. I knew why I wanted to do it. Do you think, y'all, let me just tell you something. I am so thankful for Plexus. Never in a million years, four short years ago, never in a million years did I think that both my husband and I would be able to do Plexus full time. I would have three beautiful little girls and be able to stay, both of us stay home full time. Purchase a ranch. Well, first, whoever thought I'd be a rancher. <laughs> but who being able to remodel our own home without worry of finances or time constraints, being able to provide my family with these experiences, that's what this is. 
Is your iceberg worth it? Is that top of the iceberg worth the sacrifices and the hard work and the blood, sweat, and tears that you're going to put into it? Be tenacious for yourself, for your dreams, for your family, for your goals. Right? Now is the time people want and need Plexus, y'all. Now is it. Now is the time. People are thinking about those New Year's resolutions. So I hope that you guys are not just listening to these videos. You're applying these videos. I hope you guys are not waiting for your upline to come knocking at your computer screen window. Ding, 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 ding. Are you working your business? Ding, 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 ding. How are your goals coming along? This needs to be for you. Right? Think about what you're willing to sacrifice and what you're willing to do to reach your goals. Because y'all, I will tell you every single tear I've cried, every single bead of sweat that's dropped down my brow, every time that I might have, my, my fingers blistered from my cold messages. Ah! Every single time I had worry, doubt, fear, and it was a lot. Every single time that I was scared or it, things didn't work out my way in this business, or every time I had to miss an episode of something that I wanted, or every time that I had to do a late night call that I was really tired but I did it anyway, it's worth it. It's worth it. Do this for you, do this for your family, and remember about the iceberg, right? You can't have the tip without the bottom of it. So you gotta be authentic, that rule 76, you gotta be tenacious, and you have to work for it, guys. All right? I hope you guys are feeling inspired. You're ready to work. Be genuine with yourself. Are you really working your business? Are you really working your business? You know, I mentioned earlier, and I'll, I'll wrap up here in just a second. I mentioned earlier that I'm four years into my business. And I caught myself. Oh, my goodness. I caught myself thinking last month. I've, I've talked to everybody. Yeah, I, I, golly, I've talked to everybody. And then I went, hold up. <laughs> I should not be saying that, but I caught myself thinking that. And you know what I did? I sat down and I said, that is a lie that I've talked to everybody that I know. And I'm going to fix that. I'm going to fix myself right there. I'm going I'm to work for my iceberg, right? And I went through my Facebook list. And I, it took me almost three hours to do this. I went through my Facebook list and I wrote down every single name of somebody that has never joined me or purchased Plexus. And every single name of someone who had purchased Plexus bef before but had stopped. I went through my phone list, my email list, and did the same thing. Y'all, I came up with over 500 names. You have to remember something, guys. Just because you've spoken to somebody maybe six months ago doesn't mean you shouldn't speak to them again. We've all heard fortunes in the follow-up, right? Reach back out to them. It is about their timing, not yours, okay? Work your business. Reach out. You don't know. You haven't spoke to everybody. You haven't hit your, your limit, there are other people out there that will be diamonds that don't even know about Plexus yet. Are you reaching out to them? Or are you waiting for somebody else to? Work that iceberg, guys. Genuinely work it. Do you know what I'm talking about? I keep saying this, but do you know what I'm talking about? I hear a lot of times, I'm working my business, I'm working my business. Are you really working your business? If you want to be diamond, you got to run. If you want to be emerald, you got to run. If you want to be gold. You got to run. Have fun with this. Have fun with this. Climb that iceberg. Do the hard work, guys. It's worth it. I love you guys. I want to, I want to see what you're going to comment below, how you're going to work your business differently based on what I've talked about today. What did you have an aha moment about? Oh gosh, I thought I was working my business, but I didn't. I really wasn't. Right? Don't let another month pass you by without going silver. I challenge you. I challenge you. Do that. All right, guys. Comment below. I will be drawing three winners to win this beanie. Well, not this one, but 
A, B, and E like this. And you get to pick your color. Like I said, every color of the rainbow is out there. Okay. I preached. I loved on y'all. I want y'all to be real with yourself. Work your business. It's worth it. Love y'all.